Hi everyone, welcome to my built-in and EXTJS application using modern toolkit series. It's episode 7 where we will perform some improvements to our list component. In the last episode, we have enhanced our grid component, have added some additional columns and changed uh, existing columns. And now let's switch to the mobile version of our app. And we can see that we have accidentally broken it. Uh, it looks like a match uh, record uh, wants to get a country code using our um, flex store but mobile version of our app doesn't know that flex store exists so let's fix it first of all let's go uh, to uh, main view model of uh, the mobile version of our app and add flux store here uh, and we will add the same load listener that we have used for desktop version. Now let's go to main view controller and implement this listener. So once our uh, flex store is loaded, we load match store. And we can see that this fixes the issue with uh, the mobile version of our app. Now list of matches loaded correctly and we could improve um, uh, look and feel of this list by adding flags and uh, stage and uh, score of the game. Now let's go to the matches view component, uh, our list component and uh, change uh, item template. Uh, now, uh, for every row in our list component, uh, we uh, render a table uh, and uh, one TR element, one TD element, and inside of this TD element we have collection of div and span elements, and uh, inside of these elements we render year, stage, um, team names, uh, uh, game results, and uh, country flags. Uh, template for rendering country flags are the same as we have used for our team A and team B uh, columns in the grid component. And the last thing that we need to do is to define styles that we have used in our template. So let's go to matches view scss file and define all the styles. So it's the same bold style. Uh, we have added some margin uh, uh, to have um, some uh, space between elements. Uh, if a team name is too long, we uh, just uh, show dots uh, at the end. And uh, yeah, I have also made flags uh, a bit smaller than for desktop version of our um, application. And that's how our um, uh, list component looks in browser. Pretty nice, doesn't it? <laughs> in this episode we have improved template that we have used for our list component. And in the next episode we will add a pivot grid component to our application.